Good morning. It is August the 29th. I am getting ready to give you a garden tour. If you notice, I'm sitting down here because I have been sick the last whole month. I think it was about July 30th that I noticed I wasn't feeling right. Well, the long and the short of it is I'm now on prednisone and hydrocodone. And that's helping me function. Otherwise, I can't walk because my leg muscles just cramp up and I can't do much of anything. So, this is going to be a neglected garden tour or a neglected Back to Eden garden tour. If this was a normal garden, it would be ridiculous. But the Back to Eden with the covering and everything, it can take a little bit of abuse and neglect. So let's turn the camera around and we'll get started. First of all, I wanted to show you something interesting. This is the caterpillars that are eating up my parsley. I think I counted like 13 of them in there. I'm letting them eat the parsley in hopes that they will turn into monarch butterflies. This is not a monarch butterfly's preferred food. They like milk thistle, but evidently the milk thistle is in short supply this year. Um, they're crediting that to the GMO glycophosphate gardening methods employed by the, most of the commercial farmers now. So anyways, I did use the other, <laughs> other parsley for my brosco broth that I've been using to try and make me feel better. And the worms ate the rest of it after I chopped most of it. Okay, here's the tomato plant that did the best this summer. Still has a couple little cherry tomatoes hanging on. The other ones I sort of let sprawl here didn't really do a whole lot. Um, could be it was too hot this summer and just, I don't know, these tomatoes just didn't really do well. Here's some Egyptian spinach that I've been picking for a smoothie every, every morning. I have quite a bit of Egyptian spinach here. More Egyptian spinach. It's flowers. Here's my goji berry bush, which is starting to leave out a little bit, or leaf out. It, it does have some berries on. I've been eating those every morning. I pick some that are, that are more red. I was really expecting these berries to be bigger. So maybe when my plant gets more healthy, they'll be bigger. More Egyptian spinach. Egyptian spinach is really doing well. The plants that I have out here. Here's some basil that's going to seed. Still have some strawberries, little strawberries. Well, they're still blooming and everything in the ever-bearing bed for my grandkids. Okay, I have not been back here in my raised bed for a long time. Let's see what's going on. Looks like I have some sorrel. Looks like I have some Swiss chard that's been eaten up. I also did have some perpetual spinach, I believe, and maybe some perpetual or um, arugula. But it doesn't look like that's made it through the neglect. Got a lot of crabgrass. Wonder if I could juice that. There's my Tokyo onions. My 
uh, Brussels sprouts did not do well. They actually just died. Which may be because they got too hot. There's my poor Brussels sprouts dried up. This is a lamb's quarter plant that I let grow and it really got huge. I need to chop it down so that my raspberries will get some light in there. <clears throat> Here's where I had my largest Malabar spinach last year. And there is a vine going up there. It's not as big as last year because I didn't really take care of it at all. And these are all from volunteers. There's tons of little Malabar starts here. There's some more sorrel. There's my asparagus that went to seed. Getting ready, or not not really to seed so much, it's just grown out, preparing for next year. I did have some tomatoes up here that I got a few from. My tomatoes, I don't know why they're not really producing that much here. planted beans all over the place just more or less a cover crop and for some nitrogen fixing I do have some tomatoes in there I'll have to put a tomato in my smoothie today yep. that one was rotten there I got a little tomato for my smoothie Oh, I put stevia in my smoothie, too. It's nice and sweet. I have two stevia plants. It's my bloody dock. Here's a pretty huge basil plant. I've been putting basil in my smoothie. My peppers. Got some peppers on here. There's some turning red. Oh, my Jerusalem artichokes. They're up about 12, 15 feet. But the middle of them have sort of fallen over because I didn't give them much support. I only have one little rope holding them up. So I really should tie them up more. I planted some seven top turnips down here in this empty space. After I pulled the green beans out that I had in here. But they haven't come up yet. Here's my... Oh, wait. They are coming up. You can see them right there. They are starting to come up. So that's good. Here's my, my great success story for the year. Is my fig tree. This is the one that I was surprised that it made it through the winter. Because it was such a tiny little bud last year. Well look at that thing. It's got a nice stalk on the bottom. And it's probably five feet tall, growing like crazy. So five feet of growth in one year I think is pretty amazing. And I'm almost wondering if these little buds here are starting to, starting to put out little figs. But I don't know if there's enough time 
for figs this year. But maybe I'll get figs next year off this tree. That would be wonderful. Can't wait to see that. I had cucumbers and tomatoes in these cages. My cucumbers have of course got the wilt, but at the ends of them there's still some healthy leaves and they're still putting out some cucumbers. So right now I don't really have any great cucumbers. Or I don't have a supply at the moment, but there's more coming. I had a bunch of cucumbers on this fence over here that did really, really well too. I got a lot of cucumbers off these guys. There's a bunch of Malabar spinach. This is my best planting, best spot where the Malabar spinach is really growing like crazy. And here I have a couple Mexican sunflowers that have taken over this part of the garden, which I'm not really caring about too much because I had a strawberry patch under here that never produced much. So I'm going to cover that with wood chips this fall, hopefully, and plant something different there next year. Maybe move the tomatoes up because the soil is good. I don't... I think I just have really bad brand of strawberries there. Uh, kill some mosquitoes. See, I don't think there's a whole lot out that way. The dogs have been running through here tromping over my comfrey because I can't turn my wire on because it has too many it's too close to too many plants so I might have to move my electrical wire out to be able to give my plants a, uh, a fighting chance against the dogs running over them well, let's see I'll show you some I planted some caladiums in the garden just for some color Some marigolds help with the bugs. Need to harvest the sunflowers. There's a couple of them up. A couple of them have fallen over and made this into like a a canopy underneath underneath there. It's got morning glories and morning glories and cucumbers and rattlesnake beans all growing over that canopy. All right, so I got my August tour in. Not feeling too bad. And so, hope you all enjoyed it. Have a blessed day. Pray for me. Pray that I'll get better. And I will see you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.